I mean, if there's ever a time to say, here we go, it's right now. That is so sick. That makes going double-double on the first two holes of Troon way better. It literally looks like he's gonna crash land on the runway. We were given the ultimate golf job to create the unofficial, official, the official, unofficial golf guide to Scotland by me, Eric Anders Lang. We had 16 days to play 26 courses, and we started off here at Royal Troon. Have a good day. Bye. Thanks. Bye. What's up, dude? Dude, I haven't slept a wink in about 48 hours. Whoa. And I'm ready. I didn't sleep either. You didn't? No. I saw you once. It was like a, the outline of your shadow, and you're like looking at the camera and everything. I'm like, I just noticed the hair. Well, like on the ground from the plane out the window? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Check in here. 8.25 a.m. in Glasgow. That means it's about midnight 30 in LA. And uh, I mean, I've only, I don't know, we've only been awake for like 16 or 17 hours, really. Hasn't hit me yet. <laughs> Didn't sleep an ink on the flight. Inch, ink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start with the square one, folks. All right, so we've got 42 minutes until we're at Troon, but it's gonna go by like, yeah, this is the official and official golf guide to Scotland by myself. And uh, first stop, the Old Loans Inn, which the fine print, not even that fine really. Winner, small hotel of the year. And you know, I mean, I'd rather be a great small hotel than a bad big hotel. I mean, I think the main thing is we can't go to sleep. We have to stay awake. We have to stay vigilant. I'm even thinking we should use the exercise bands, you know? All right, we're inside. We made it. What happened, Colt? Just something just happened. Room 2009. <laughs> Can you hold the camera oh, The Tom Watson room. Let's see. So he's staying here back in 2000. Actually, he could have, honestly. That could be why they named it that. You stay here? Probably. Yep. All right, so we just got here. And we have a day off, basically, because we flew here a day early because the flight was cheaper, right, Colt? Right. And what are we gonna do today? Well, our hotel room's not ready, so we were like, maybe we should go play. Royal, true. So anyway, Jamie's about to get here, and he said, I'll give them a call. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. And then he says, they're gonna want you to film though. Is that okay? And I was like. That's why we're here, my guy. My guy. My guy. My guy. Cheers. Spot of tea. <laughs> What's up, man? This you. is the guy who's responsible for the whole thing. What's up, dude? Nice to good to see you. Thank you. You well? Yeah, I'm good, man. How you doing? Good. Yeah, really good. Past 20 minutes. So Jamie's giving us a tour of the neighborhood. The tour of Ayrshire. Is that how you pronounce it? That's it. So what is Ayrshire, Jamie? Ayrshire is a region in the southwest coast of Scotland. Um, possibly one of the best golf regions in the world. I'm obviously biased, but um, there's about 16 golf clubs from your hotel that you could drive to within seven minutes. So it's uh, quite a good area to stay if you want to spend less time driving and just more time golfing, which I think is, is more important when you come to Scotland. This is the site of the, of, I mean, that's 18. That's 18 right there? That's where Henrik Stenson drove his three wood almost into the bunker. Yep. This is it. This is the duel. Wait, what do we call it? What did we call Henrik and uh, Phil's match? Uh, uh, Jewel in the Sun part two, maybe? Yeah, I mean, it was basically match play. Yeah, it was. For me, it was one of uh, maybe the best sporting events ever, with the exception, maybe a, a tie of the Cubs World Series. Absolutely. Yeah, but I mean... When you watch a final round of a major, you're kind of hoping for something interesting, but usually it's kind of someone wins by two shots. Well, that one certainly delivered. It was insane. I watched this Sunday round between Henrik Stenson and Phil with my best friend Stuart in his apartment at 7 a.m. in Los Angeles over bagels and coffee. And so even though we weren't there and neither of us had ever been to Troon or Royal Troon, the golf course, 
it was so funny to be standing here right now, having it all become real again. It was all very surreal, or maybe it was just the jet lag. I almost want to watch it again. Can we can we get that on demand and watch that tonight? We need to watch that and Braveheart tonight. <laughs> So pumped to play some Scottish golf today. First round of Lynx golf for Colt. Wow. Dude, let's get your face here. <laughs> I'm ready, guys. First wow. round of Lynx golf for Colt. Yeah, this is, honestly, it's pretty crazy. I've played golf my whole life, and I've never, up until this moment, they've gotten to experience Lynx golf properly. That's a tee box. Wow. Bunkers, two shots, two bunkers. Welcome to Scotland. Welcome to Lynx Golf. It can only go downhill, I mean uphill from here. I think that's one of the things about Lynx Golf that probably a lot of golfers find they don't like, which is that it's really, really fucking hard. I mean, ultimately, if you're even 150 yards in the fairway, in the middle of the green is a shot. You know, yeah. it's just trying to get the ball on the green. Yeah. It's a good shot in Lynx Golf. There you go. Welcome to the UK, kids. The hole is known as the postage stamp. Others refer to it as the wee beastie. In Colin Montgomery's words, there's never been a decent par three over 200 yards. It got its name from a 1922 Golf Illustrated article that described it as a putting surface skimmed down to the size of a postage stamp, which is the same way Amen Corner got its name from a journalist. Now I'm thinking it's just like a little baby gap wedge drawing off the flag. I got a feeling this could work. Should we get the shrug again? I, <laughs> I, got, I got a good feeling this could work, and my feeling is accentuated by the fact that I feel like it could work so well that I could potentially make a dream come true. No, not going to Disneyland. If I get a hole in one, I'll go to Disneyland. Yes. Ace cam. That's so funny, Cole. <laughs> I mean, uh, nothing boss. Uh, flying uh, one there. Tough to read the greens, he said. But a tap in par nonetheless. And a small triumph is what we're left with to remind us that golf is greater than I. A humbling game that confounds and befuddles all men and children and women and beasts. It's 10 a.m. in L.A. Yeah. So we've been awake for 30 hours. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the train. Train! Wow. You know what? This game is like a woman that won't call you back and then all of a sudden she's like, hey, what are you doing? I'm free tonight. And you're like, oh, I want to hang so bad, but I hate you. Now we're onto something here. A little four foot birdie pot. Let's put the screws in the coffin. with a liberal drop. Three wood in honor of Enric Stenson. Look at that. Both Callaways too. Rogue Rogue tip to tip right there. Oh yeah, look at that. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> oh dude. Nice. 18. Oh. Two beasts of a drive up here. Three woods. What, okay, 60 yards? 
be a bird. Just don't blade it into the clubhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this place. We got this. Royal Troon. We're out here. 18th hole. A lot of bad golf, but a lot of great golf too, which is kind of the fun part of the game, huh? Sits. Oh, he almost hit the stick. Oh, it's got a 25 footer now. Thank you, Troon. Thank you, Cole. That was fun, man. That was fun, dude. That was great. Now I feel like I'm totally ready to play. You know, like I got the kinks out. Should we just try to go out again? Should we squeeze in another nine? Let's do it. You're kidding, right? Nope. I was kidding. First round in the books wasn't planned. Showed up, made it happen, and finished strong, I think, both of us. Yeah. We started playing our best golf down there. Down the stretch. Just like Henrik and Phil, really. I mean, not that different. Not, I mean, it's not far-fetched to see that. <laughs> Here's the whip. Check this little guy out. Welcome to Scotland, not here. Shut up. We got more. Oh, shut up. 